Tastes like cinnamon. Welcome to the video. My name is Agent Double Sonic, and in this video, I'm going to be painting with tea. We're spawning great ideas here, folks. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So as I'm working on this drawing, I wanted to do something that was going to be, well, the flavor of the tea, which was painted desert, which I thought was a pretty good concept because, you know, you're going to be in the middle of a desert. And I assume that the painted aspect of it is coming from the illumination from the stars of the starry night sky. And who knows, maybe there's some mountains going on in the background and there's a little campfire. I was going to draw a little dog next to me, but then I realized that you are not here for the drawing. You want to see if I can actually paint with tea. So we're just going to go ahead and speed things up real quick. <laughs> Add some details. I don't know why I drew a random guy with the mustache. That's not me. He's holding a little cup of tea, obviously, at this point. He's by a campfire because the deserts get surprisingly very cold tonight. If you didn't know that, you're welcome. And we're going to outline the rest of him and the entire painting at this point in a ink or sharpie or whatever. Add some striations into the desert sand to give it that kind of rough look. The mountains have some snow. I don't know what geography I'm thinking about. A very hastily drawn moon and clouds. Now for the part that you've all been waiting for. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually paint with tea. I know there's a multitude of videos out there that have done this. I just genuinely wanted to know if I can do it. So, here we go. Alright. From what I'm seeing so far, it is very opaque. There is not much tone to it. Despite being in the mug itself, you could not see because it was very dark. But... It kind of went with the flavor of the tea. It was a painted desert. And just look at it in the palette. It looks like it could be a proper tone for like the logs. It looks like it could be a proper tone for the sand and everything like that. I also realized one fatal mistake of my painting of this painted desert painting tea painting. Wow, that was very bad. Is that I only have one color. So, realistically, I'm working with three colors here. I got the Painted Desert Tea, I have the paper, and I have the ink. Technically four if you count the pencil, but, eh, minor details. It came out pretty okay. I didn't think I can get more color out of it. I mean, I can keep layering up, but in the end, it wasn't bad. It definitely didn't go like I thought it was going to go, but hey. And that's why we're here, folks. We're here to live and learn. <laughs> Look at that reference. Painted Desert Tea was pretty good, and the Painted Desert Painting with Tea was pretty good as well. Hey, we are. Here is the Painted Desert Painted Desert Tea Watercolor Tea Painting. Wow, I hope I don't make that the title of the video. Anyways, peace, love, and hot sauce, and as always, thanks for watching. I uh, could finish that tea, though. Oh, this is cold. Yeah.